Welcome to Spotlight. So we're cruising through. Uh, if you have children, these are the final few days of them being in school and then you've got them beautifully, wonderfully for the uh, following six weeks. It's also uh, the final few days of risk. Will they, um, will they come into contact with anyone? Will that impact you? So sort of exciting moments, really. We know that the weather is looking really good this weekend. So that's fabulous. Last weekend, it wasn't bad, actually, the weather. And for those of you who are there, we had the most amazing time. First time together as church, in person. Uh, it was brilliant. It was just so lovely to gather on the field, uh, at the crossing. It was a great venue for it. Weather was kind. People from every location were there. Ones and twos. Um, groups come in uh, from their location, from their cluster or whatever. It was so good. It was so good to worship. Um, Dave and Ruth started us off with uh, Amazing Grace, which was very, very moving. Uh, just knowing the truth of that song, being able to sing it out as well. It was a very special time. We had some testimonies. Dave did a great spoken word and just being together, praying together, worshiping together was lovely. We're planning on doing that again, same kind of format on the 5th of September, I guess to kick off the, uh, the autumn term after everyone's been away on holidays and um, whatever. So as long as the weather's good, we're gonna do it again on the 5th of September, same venue, same timings, um, same kind of rules and, and uh, whatever. So put that in your diary. And um, it's, it's pretty safe, actually. It's a very big field. And if you're nervous about being close to people, you can come along and just come down the field and uh, be a little bit further away from anyone so you don't feel like there's any crowds or anything. And you can watch from the sidelines there, but, but still join in. So whoever you are, if, it, uh, if, you're, if you're kind of keen just to kind of get back or if you're a bit nervous, I do recommend it. But if you can't come out, then we're always online. And so even on Sunday, we were online. Uh, we took a particular passage, explored it, worshiped together. Um, so there'll always be the online option. So don't worry, you won't miss out. Uh, and uh, what's coming up in the next few weeks? Well, it's a whole variety of things because we're gonna, like I say, always online. So wherever you are, even if you're on holiday, you don't have to miss church. But um, don't worry, if actually with the opening up of everything, where there's all kinds of regulations now not in place and it's up to people to do what they want to keep us safe. That might make you feel very nervous uh, for good reason. It, it may well be that um, other people's freedom actually uh, impacts you uh, physically. Uh, so um, we're online and just want to reassure you that uh, you join in, we join in together every week. There is community, there is worship, there is prayer, there is the word. So you don't have to miss out. Uh, this is us, this is church, and it's online at 10.30 every week. For everyone else, um, you may be wondering, well, how are we gonna do this? Well, we're looking now at how to make sure things are safe and free so that um, people are able to sing, people are able to move around, um, but at the same time, we recognize uh, that some people are nervous about this. Some people just cautious because they haven't been around people and they feel fine themselves, but just being around is such a strange thing. We want to help everyone. We want to help those who are dead keen to get back into the building. We want to help those who are nervous. We want to help those who uh, um, are cautious because of their own health. And so we're working out ways of doing that at the moment, but we do invite you into our various buildings and various fields and open air spaces over the, the following few weeks. So from the 25th, Sunday the 25th, we're allowed to be inside. We're allowed to have a number of people and outside as well. And we're allowed to do things. I, I guess what we'd say is just be so aware of everyone else. Let's not invade one another's space. We might want to just say, is it okay if I sit here um, with you? What, what, how do you want me to be with you? Do you um, hello, a hello, but rather than a huge big hug, a hello and a greeting and just getting to know one another again and where one another's at. Uh, think about wearing uh, face coverings. We won't have to, uh, but it may be that just for the sake of others, you choose in certain spaces to wear one for a bit. And then when you're kind of in your place and you're singing, you take it off. It's, we we want to take responsibility, not just for ourselves and our own safety or how we live our lives, but for other people as well. And that's a real challenge, but it's something that Jesus calls us to 
we can put this into practice in church life together. At Rosenbrook Community Church on the 25th, we're, uh, the building's going to be open and so you're invited in. We, we still won't have refreshments, there's not going to be children's work, we're sticking to those things um, uh, so that we just keep things very, very simple. Um, but you're invited in and there'll be chairs, and there'll be space available. We want to make sure that everyone is welcome. And if you can't come, then watch online. At uh, The Crossing and at Create, well, there's uh, some fantastic new explorations of worship, um, wonder and wonder, uh, going out just uh, outside and uh, being meditative, uh, reflective, um, connecting with God in creation, taking a theme and exploring it, the same theme actually uh, that we're doing on Sunday. Um, online so it's the same thing it's just doing it in a different way so it's just great what's going to happen on the 25th and then uh, on the first we're going to be there's going to be children's work in August and uh, people from all locations can come and join and we'll be in the building you could be online uh, you could drop off your children and then watch on your phone in your car um, whatever we're going to go through a series then uh, that is just taking some characters from the Bible who are living widely, radically, and we're going to see what we can learn from those characters. And uh, then throughout the summer, in our various locations, again, coming back right at the end of August, once again, children's work will all pile in together if we choose to be online as well. That's the pattern of things. Just to say that uh, this Sunday, uh, we've got Dr. Kate Middleton. She's going to be talking about mental health and uh, how God is calling us into that arena of bringing healing and hope and understanding uh, God's spirit within us and uh, for other people as we bring hope and well-being around the place and receive well-being ourselves. And so that's going to be great in our series of giants. And then to finish off that series on the 25th, Andy Flanagan from Christians in Politics is going to be talking about political engagement, what's happened in the political scene, not just in the UK, but all over the world as people are more polarised, and what are Christ followers called into. So uh, some really great input from some experts, a chance to gather in rooms and outside, and of course we can always be online with one another. So it's looking really exciting over the next few weeks. I hope you can join us.